I hope to see more uh, journalists like yourself writing about sustainability, write about recycled clothes, uh, writing about the fast fashion is over. I really want to see more of this. To what degree is global pandemic changing our purchasing habits? Can Tony Duff influences still remain relatable in the lockdown and post-lockdown era? And are we about to see the rise of sustainable fashion? We spoke about being creative and staying relevant with the TV host, social media influencer, Birkin boy Israel Castle. So do tell me, uh, we'll be talking about what you've been up to during coronavirus lockdown. Yeah. A lot of people found themselves sitting at home without jobs, without prospects, without any ideas. Whereas I know you've been busy, if not busier than before. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, the corona lockdown started in, in March. What yeah. were your thoughts? What's going to happen? What, what was happening in your life at the time? Right. Um, I remember uh, when people started to talk about lockdown was the end of London Fashion Week. Yeah. Um, was really busy. I didn't think you would have a lockdown. I thought it would be like for two weeks, three weeks, and that's it. But then the lockdown came. It was very shocking for me because I, I had the plans. I had a photo shoot to do. I suppose it started my TV show in Brazil. Um, so everything has been postponed. And it was really hard. And, but then I started to think about what I could do while I'm in lockdown. I'm going to be sitting down eating. Uh, watching TV, play a game? No, I should think about what I could do, making myself more creative, think about what I need to do to call attention of my followers because otherwise my followers go away. Now, yeah. People forget you if you, don't, if you don't post all the time, people forget you. Very easy. That's a very tough business I am, I think. You know, you have to uh, post uh, interesting things. As you know, I'm the Birkin boy, so I used to do, uh, uh, post pictures with the bags, luxury, and I thought, it's not the right time to do this. I, I think the world will change after this pandemic. Yeah. And I, I need to think about what I'm going to do as well to, to show people I am with them. I can't post a picture with myself with a bag. People don't have money at the moment. I don't have the money as well because everything has been stopped. But people don't, you know, they cancel events. They cancel uh, the brands that didn't send me stuff for me to promote. It was being, they stop it. Yeah. So it was really, really tough. And speaking of Hermes, uh, they've uh, released their first quarter sales and they went down by 7.7% which is still better than carrying an LVMH, but it's probably one of the first times when their sales went down during the crisis, because normally Hermes just gets out of any crisis unscathed and their sales never drop. So that was the first time the sales the first actually time, dropped. Exactly. I went to Hermes another day because I need to get some stuff. And I asked my sales assistant how you know, Hermes is doing. They say really bad. Mm -hmm. because people stop in by luxury and i think we we should think about carefully you know i as you know tamara i am the birkin boy because i have a lot of hermes uh, birkins and kelly's i promised myself this year i won't buy any bags i'm trying to be very i'm trying to be very good with my money at the moment because yeah. i had yeah. to ask my my dad some help even though i'm married with my husband I need to ask you, my, because we have a construction business in Brazil. So when I, I have emergency, I ask my, my dad to help me because, you know, I have a part of the business. But for seven, eight years, I haven't asked my dad to help because, well, I was fine. But during this pandemic, I yeah. need to ask my dad some help because my, my, my husband as well was, was no suffering, but he couldn't meet people because his business is face to face. He needs mm -hmm. people to invest in his business. So no meetings. So it was really tough, not only for me, but for a lot of people. So I thought it's not the right time to post luxury on my Instagram. I have to be close to people. Yeah. So you started, I saw you, you, you made some masks for your little doggy. What's his name? Yeah, we wish it went viral, right? <laughs> yes. 
That was really right. cool. I'm going to. I'll tell you what happened, uh, Tamara. When co the, the coronavirus started to be around us, yeah, I was looking people walk on the on the streets with the masks. Yeah, and I thought, oh, hold on a second. Only that's that's people picture. can, only people can get uh, coronavirus. Yes, that's the one. Oh, animals too. Animals. I started too. to research, and I was start, I started to research to research online. No articles about that. No articles. So I said to myself, I'm going to develop a, a mask, which it was very simple. It was a black mask. And I just put some stars just to make it a little bit cool. Yeah. People, people criticized me and said, oh, he just put some stars. He bought. Da, 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 da. Okay, I did. Have you done something in your mask? No, you just use your mask like a boring mask. Yeah. <laughs> and I did to call attention. But what also came into my mind and I said, I'm going to do a picture for Toby as well. So I'm going to develop a little mask for him to protect him here, to call attention to the world to see if dogs are protected. Yeah. And you know, the Daily Mail uh, loved the picture. They came here, they did some videos, they, they asked me why I did. So it went viral around the world, Brazil, Asia. What was a very good post I did, I think, for for. for from that post, we started to see articles on BBC, Daily Mail, uh, Daily Star, Brazilian News. So that was a good post because I try to be very, I try to be connected with people as well. I don't want to be just the fashion influencer only, Tamara. You yeah. know me now a little bit. I don't want to be just a fashion influencer who like, oh, no. I want to show I have other side. You know, I'm, I like to, to talk about the planet. I like to talk about rubbish on the seas rubbish in the rivers i like to call attention about the plastic in the world that is my maybe is my mission in this world as a public figure to to, to connect with people as well and, and give a, some message to people yeah. not only going to the shop and buy expensive clothes but that is me now after the pandemic i reflect a lot how i can help the planet how can i consume less that's yeah. not the role, the word i want to say to you i want to consume less because yeah. i think the planet now is like it's tired and i think the world i've seen quite a few articles going on about it that fast fashion is kind of hopefully is the thing of the past and people will start buying more kind of durable fashion and more something that will last <sighs> You know, uh, I, I think people, as you know, uh, human beings, we like to change all the time our clothes, right? You, are, you like to go to an event with this, and then the other event, you don't use this anymore because you use. Why not to reuse again? What is yeah. the problem to go to one event this week with a nice dress? No, you, for example, with a nice dress, and next week you can repeat. Why not? Yeah. So I think but that, that is fashion. That is fa the fashion industry made us to be very consume consume a lot. Okay, this shirt today, tomorrow another one. I have a wardrobe around me full of clothes, which is ridiculous sometimes to look. Yeah, and I say to myself, I'm going to recycle my clothes. I'm going to reuse. I might go out with you one day, in or you go to an event together. You might say, oh, I remember this shirt you had. Yes, because I am recycling my clothes. That's for me is the new fashion. The new future is buy good products. Know where it's come from is important. Okay, let's see the products. Okay, less, less polluted, uh, pro less polluted um, product. Oh, that's a good product then. Yeah. I think fast, fa fast, uh, fast fashion is over now. Hope so. I don't know what Zara will be doing because obviously they're all about quick turnaround and fast fashion, but we'll find out. I hope to see more uh, journalists like yourself writing about sustainability, write about recycled clothes, uh, writing about the fast fashion is over. I really want to see more of this. I hope people now start to think about more about the planet, about sustainable fashion, hopefully. Because I, before this pandemic, as I said before, and I repeat again, I was a completely different person. The pandemic changed my mind, how to see the world now. And I think that was the biggest challenge of my, of my life. There's so no planet B. <laughs> no planet B.
but uh, you know, I love fashion. Fashion is my passion. I, I'm very thank you for the fashion industry. I started my career as a model. I've been to that industry. You know, I'm, I'm growing. I can see the world is changing, but I want to see more of the fashion industry change too. Fingers crossed. Well, I think it's going that way. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the, the sales are going to be that great this year because obviously everyone is sitting at home. Um, so no one needs to spend that money. So we'll see, hopefully. Yeah. What are, what are you doing to consume less? Well, I've not, I've not bought many things for a long, long time, you know. Um, so, and besides, uh, so after Joe passed away, I've start, you know, I've stopped wearing colours. So I only wear white normally. So, yeah, it's like two pairs of jeans and three tops. So you're doing your I, part. So wear. you're doing your part. You're doing your part. You, you are you a very big consumer. Um. I wouldn't say I'm a very big consumer, but obviously I have a lot of stuff uh, in my wardrobe. Although I do reuse it, you know, I just use different Brava. accessories. But, Brava! Uh, yay! But I think with, with monochrome tones, like white and black, you can reuse them indefinitely. You just accessorize differently, put different scarf, different hats, different jewelry, and it will look different, different belts, you know? So, um, it's easier with monochrome tones. And tell me also about uh, London Fashion Week. So the June one is taking place online. The Men's Fashion Week is taking place online. Others probably have also followed the suit. And you used to be a model booker. What is your opinion on all, how's, how's that going to work? How, how is it possible? Ugh, virtual catwalks. How can we do virtual catwalks? You have to have a camera, one model, Show the clothes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's quite strange, right? Apparently, we learn in Paris they will do the catwalks virtual, but no public. So it'll be one model every two minutes on the catwalk, I think. But it's different. That will be a know? very long show. Every two minutes. Uh, there'll, there'll be a long show, and then we're going. You need to watch. I I, to, uh, I, 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 I watched some videos of London Fashion Week, and I just felt like, oh, it's not the same. I think virtual is a new thing, which people disagree. They don't like it. It's okay. We can watch, but it's completely different feeling. I think people who are not normally getting invites you know the the public they do like it that they get to see these events you know remotely you don't have to go out you don't have to do anything but for the industry who would go to the show and try to arrange a photo shoot following that or coverage in different magazines that kind of loses the exclusivity because you know if everyone can see it if it's if it's there already created something then it just you lose the interest it doesn't inspire you as much as seeing something live and the fashion industry has a lot, the brands have a lot of clothes there to sell. I don't know if you heard about the sales around. Well, yeah, uh, there, there are sales. Because they have a stock of clothes. Yeah. And then they want to show virtual fashion. I think, I think that the, 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 the fashion shows around the world should be canceled this year. I said, this year, we will not have a, cat, a catwalks anywhere in the world. We're going to try to sell all we have. We will not produce more. Because if you yeah. produce more, what do you do with the less collection? It, yeah. It's Burn waste it. again. Like waste never, again. We cannot it. wasting clothes. We cannot waste our planet. Our planet is suffocate. He yeah. needs to seek, unfortunately. We need to help this planet. So I think they should cancel uh, catwalks this year. But you know, it's all about money. So now you're lining up more photo shoots. You have your show. How is the work on your show going? Because you're filming around London during the lockdown or as we just started coming out of the lockdown. How does that work? How do you make it happen? The TV production was pushing me a lot, Tamara. They were pushing, pushing me, pushing me to start, pushing to start. And, and I would say like, okay, we are still locked down. So as soon as we can go out, I can start in filming. Um, I invite some Brazilians and I ask them, are you okay if I come to you and do the interview? And they were very keen to say, oh, yes, that's fine. But I think I couldn't interview people on the street yet. I can't, because people are a little bit 
you know, I don't have the microphone, you know, I just have the microphone very close to me. But uh, I went to Notting Hill for the first show, the shops were closed, but we did a filming around there. Yeah. And then you went, you went to Anna Lu's house to interview her there, you know, but she's, she agreed, you can come here and interview me. Then you had another, the thing is I did four shows one day. It was really tough, really tough. Four shows, different topics in one day, which I never do again. I never, gonna, I never do again because it was really hard for me. It was the first time I was doing TV. Remember, Tamara, I never worked on TV before. Yeah. It was the first time. Um, but I, people love, I love about London. You know, Brazilians love London. They love the stories uh, we, we, we bring to the show, which is fashion, is Notting Hill, the influences in disturbing the, 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 the um, residents. You know, talk about racism with the, the previous show. We had this Brazilian lady who suffered a lot of racism mm -hmm. and because she was black. And she told on the, TV, on, on the show and went viral in Brazil as well again. You know, people really, you know, Brazil is a very racist country. So having uh, Fernanda talking about that as a model, as a black model, I think was a big thing for the viewers. And you're getting busy and busier, not only with the TV show, but also with photo shoots. So is life picking up for you? What's, what's happening? Yes, I think so. We don't have events at the moment, as you know. So we can go to events. We don't have events. You know, at the moment, I'm very focused on my TV show, Tamara. This is my biggest dream in my life. Since I was a little boy, I always dreamed to be a presenter, a TV presenter. And now I have the opportunity. I'm focused on that. Someone asked me something about if I will move to Brazil to do a TV presenter? Yes, I will. If I have a good opportunity, yes, I will. Because that's my biggest dream. And I'm realizing my biggest dream now. And a final message from Israel. It was just too good to cut it out. Uh, what I would like to say uh, about uh, the past lockdown is to people to be more concerned about how they spend their money as I was a, biggest, a big person who spent a lot of money, I failed the lockdown. I failed the situation. That's why BBC did that article, very good article about me and other influencers who lost a lot of the shiny, they said, because we lost the, the work, we lost the events, we lost a little bit of money. And just say to people, think about when you're going to spend money. Think about if you, you need to spend the money first. Shopping, I know, is an amazing feeling. But material things don't make you happy. They make you happy for two minutes. And after you boat, it's not the same. You know, you lost that happiness. So material things don't make us happy. What makes us happy is eat well is make me happy. Uh, being with people I, lo I love makes me happy. So let's think about consume less. That beautiful word I want to finish with you. Consume less. The planet thanks. Well, thank you so much for sticking with us until the end of this video. As always, your comments are very much appreciated and welcome. So do make sure you leave your comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because we've got plenty more where that came from.